How's it going everyone, Manus Party here, bringing you another episode in the Pokemon TCG series. Today we're going to be playing some Blazing Volcano. Um, if you didn't watch my previous video, I haven't been playing a lot recently and I'm keen to just get games in with these decks I don't play regularly. And I used to play a lot of Blazing Volcano, and recently I haven't had a lot of games with it. Um, so I want to get some just some playtime in with it. I haven't played a lot this ladder, and I just want to kind of have some fun with the week that's left in this ladder. Um, do I want to go first? Yeah, I want to go first. Um, so let's see. I can't even, can't even tell you the last time I played with this deck. Uh, let's go with Smeargle. I actually like, quite like going second with Smeargle, but it's, I guess it's alright. Um, if I get a really early Tummer Ball with Slugma, it can be really, really good. Uh, really bad hand for my opponent though. Alright, let's see what we got going here. It's kind of sad, like life just gets in the way of gaming sometimes. And I just haven't had enough... Um, Pokemon games recently. I don't want to give away too much information. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm going first, so it's not the end of the world. Um, let's get that there. Um, I kind of want a timer ball here. I should have timer balled earlier, but it's okay. Let's get Macargo going. And timer ball again. Nice, two heads. Definitely got a Houndoom going. Uh, and I kind of want to get a Combuscan going. Cool. And just pass the turn. Because I can go for a nasty plot next turn with Houndoom, which is really, really good. And then go for an attack operation, because I should have more cards in my hand than my opponent. Because, yeah, Makago comes on next turn and just steamrolls this game. Um. We're definitely evolving that. We're definitely evolving that. Um, the only awkward thing, right? Draw two cards. I guess we can use Macargo now. So let's use Macargo. Let's do a smooth over. Um. Ooh. My shuckles are prize cards. That's awkward. Um, I feel like I'm gonna have a bit of a dead hand, so I kind of want a copycat, actually. Um. What do I lily? No, I think I actually get... I think this turn I actually bring out Torchic. Because I want to get I want to get my Blaziken online early. Let's go Kali. And hey, we get it back. That's that's actually really, really good. Um, let's retreat this into Houndoom. Let's get that down there. That's Nasty Plot. Um... It's nice plus that Blaziken in. Yeah, that Blaziken looks good. Let's say hello to Blaziken. I like that idea. Cool. Let's hope my opponent plays out a few cards here. Because um, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've only got six in my hand at the moment, so I need them to play a lot of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, there's a switch. Okay, that's good for me. Ah, damn, that's bad for me. Oh, that's very bad for me. I'm not going to get a good attack operation off next turn. Come on, play that hand out. Play that hand out. Yes, that's what I want to see. Play it out. Play it out. Get a basic Pokemon. Fantastic. Play that basic Pokemon. Fall into my trap. Come on, go for it. No. Don't hit me. That's a little harder. One, two, three, four, five. They've got six cards. So, I'll try a blaze again. Damn it. Um, that needs to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So let's go smooth over. I can't evolve this turn, which is a bit of a frust frustrating manner, but, uh, problem, but that's okay. Um, I wouldn't mind a prof for next turn. Let's get a prof ready. And let's go for a bit of a draw here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bye bye. I love Houndoom. Honestly, this Houndoom is one of my favorite cards. I've won so many games because of this Houndoom. Um, it's just, it's perfect. 110 HP, it could be a little bit tankier. But, Nasty Plot is amazing. Attack Operation is amazing. It is such a good ability. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got space to evolve here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've definitely got space to evolve here. 
Let's get that down there. Um, let's take a look with smooth though, because I've got quite a few draw cards still sitting in my hand. The issue is I don't have much to I don't have energy in my prize card in my prize pool as of yet. Which is a little bit awkward. Do I not have another Hound Doom? I do have another Hound Doom. Let's say hello to another Hound Doom. Because this Hound Doom is about to get unfortunately KO'd. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, let's drop that onto there. I don't think I'm ever going to need this Lily, quite frankly. So I'm going to go for a TV Reporter. So I don't need Prof this turn. What do I want to discard? I actually kind of want... Oh, wait. I don't want to discard because I need that next turn. Uh, yeah, I think Lily's the one I discard here. And let's go for... Attack Operation. Man, Hound Doom. I love Hound Doom. It's so good. So, so good. Look at it. It's just carrying me. Power Rush. Flip a coin. That's nice. I'd still get a knockout next turn with Hound Doom. Hound Doom anyway. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're gonna have eight cards. I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I should be fine. Let's get the hound tube down. Let's get the energy down there. Let's go for more cargo. Again, I wanna go for, let's get another professor out. Because again, it's just a draw card, which is always good. Let's go professor. One, two. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh no, I don't have enough cards. I'll still get a KO though because of Prof. I thought I had more cards than this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Very engaged content right now, guys. We're learning how to count. Um, let's get Blazing in online. It doesn't matter. Attack operation is not proccing. So let's go fire starter and let's start charging up the laser Cool. Now that we finish up our counting exercise, um, do I play Hero Cross and start charging up Hero Cross? I don't think so. This is go attack up Cool. Let us see. There's Rookie and that's game because I got a pop. I love this deck. This, this, honestly, this is still one of my favorite decks in the entire game. It's just so much fun to play. It's got so many interesting mechanics. I love it. Blazing Volcano, Blazing Volcano is honestly one of the best theme decks in terms of fun to play. Um, it can be really difficult to play, really difficult to play, but it's just so rewarding and so much fun. Like I'd love to see another theme deck come out like it, if another theme deck ever comes out. Mind you. Alright, again, we're playing into weaknesses, which is really, really good. We've got two weakness games in a row, which is quite fun. Willy Boom Boom, you're definitely playing the right deck, my friend. Alright, I would love to go first. Unfortunately, my opponent takes first turn. Always take first turn. Um, oh, this is so sad. This would have been great if I was going first. But it's okay. I can get Lily off, which is fantastic. I mean, I can't complain that much. Um, I just hope I draw a basic Pokemon or something that can go on the bench. Because I get more value of Lily that way. So I really want something basic and go on the bench. Okay, let's see. I'd be very okay with another hand door even. Because then team hunt gets even more value. I'm gonna be seeing a Snorlax, that's for sure. Because <laughs> the play of my opponent is building to Snorlax this game. Alright. Ah, I did not want to see that. All right, not a big draw off of Lily. Ooh, not a good draw off of Lily either. But it does mean Hound Doom coming in next turn is just gonna be an absolute monster. Absolute monster. Because I should be able to proc Hound Doom easily next turn. Hmm, this is a problem though. An early Snorlax is gonna be a big issue. Do they have a Snorlax in hand? They don't have a Snorlax in the hand, that was a really, really bad play. You've got to have Snorlax in hand, right? 100% you have to have Snorlax. Hmm. 
No. Really? Guys, I don't know. I, re I really don't know. I, I, I don't know what that play was. That was an awful play for my opponent. A really, really awful play. Um, I don't need a second combust gun. I don't want to discard these energies at the moment because I don't know how this game's going to go. But that was a really bad play for my opponent. Like, they got zero value out of that. Because they just burned a supporter. They burnt an Elder Goss. For what? They got zero value out of that. Yeah, okay. So, when it comes to playing Elder Goss, you, you kind of... Elder Goss is only there to charge up the rest of your Pokemon. Like, that play didn't make any sense. It would have been much, much better to call for family that turn. And fill your bench with, like, a Snorlax or something. Because you've got to identify that your opponent is playing a Fire-type deck. Obviously, I'm playing a Fire-type deck. So, you need to identify that you are weak to Fire. So, what you want to do? You want to play a Pokemon that's not weak to Fire. I.e. Snorlax. And then this turn, they could have searched for Elder Goss and used the second Goss to charge up Snorlax. And I would have been in a really bad spot if my opponent did that. But all they've done now is basically giving me the game. Give me free reign for a couple of turns. Um, because now I just charge up Entei. And I just keep on knocking at what have they've got. Uh, that early Maractus would be a bit of an issue. But again, Entei kind of just doesn't care about that. So again, just a free prize card. Yeah, that was a really, really bad play for my opponent there. Really bad play. It's not the time for Snorlax. Snorlax is your win con. What are you doing? I love Rillaboom. I love this deck. That's why it really irritates me when they make when people people make very questionable plays like this. Where it's like, look, look, man, like I, I can see what you're trying to do. I can. I really can. But this is not the way to do it. I was about to play Sightseer. That would have been a terrible play. Mm, attack operation. Like it doesn't get a KO, but I'm still really okay with the situation. Like charging a Maractus, I genuinely don't care. Because Entei one shots Maractus. So it's just like, cool bro. You're charging up the wrong Pokemon. Snorlax was your win con. But alright. That's your funeral. Um, let's make sure that Entei is online. Let's go Sightseer. Let's go one, two, three. I don't need... Even four I don't need. I don't need a Tower Ball right now. What I need is a Slugma. I'm okay with that. We got Blaziken, we got Firestarter, we charge up Blaziken. Cool, I'm in a good spot. And then we go Attack Operation, just keep just repeating it. Yeah, that was a very questionable play for my opponent. Very, very questionable play. Because cool, you knock out my Hound Doom. Cool story, bro. But then what do you do? Like, what next? That's the thing. You, you gotta be. You've got to be thinking a number of plays ahead. You can't be thinking of only this play. It, it, it doesn't work. Like you need to be thinking two or three turns down the road, and I feel like that has not happened here. Like I'm not slamming the player, but it's just identifying bad plays and ways to improve them. Um, because like. Maractus was not, is not my opponent's win con in this situation, because all of my Pokemon knock out Maractus. Cool, there's my cargo. Um, I can now fight. Yeah, that's. Great. Yeah, I I don't know what happened there. That was a bit of a weird one. But anyway, that's all right. Let's jump into one more. Um, what the? I actually picked up Nightmare. So I really want to play the laser focus again. It's been a very long time since I played laser focus. Let's jump into one more. Um, two wins so far. <laughs> uh, yeah, Blazing Volcano is tons of fun to play. It's also a deck you don't see very often. So I feel like it's one of those. I almost like I don't like the term, but like a gotcha deck. 
because people aren't familiar with it that you're able to just surprise them so that's fun always um that's always fun sorry but yeah this is a bit interesting all right let's see i like this i don't see, you don't see galarian far so fetched very often so i'm very happy with this uh do i want to go first yes please turn to houndoom <laughs> yes please Ugh. that's bad hand really bad hand all right well that game is settling let's have a drink of water because they hydrated Let's see what happens here. New hand, please. Which is not good. It's actually really, really bad for this deck because I'm giving my opponent cards, which is an issue. Ooh. Here, Entei is actually a very nice start because turn two prof with Fire Fang hurts. As much fun as I like Hound Doom, this is not a Hound Doom game. Yeah, this this looks good. This looks very good because I'm getting a KO next turn. Uh, let's get a second Hound Doom down in case I get a really really good draw. Hound Door down, sorry. What is the to corner prey? They check each other's location using barks that only they can understand. <laughs> very cool. I like it. Okay, Sudowoodo is a bit of an issue because if they go into Sudowoodo, it's actually a bit awkward for me because getting through Sudowoodo is problematic. But I guess I can use Eruption. On a later turn. I actually went for scratch. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Uh, Fire Fang. Cheerio. Ooh, not a great hand. I'm gonna have to just sweep with Eruption. I hope I get lucky. Because they're probably gonna, I'm probably seeing a Sudowoodo come in this turn. Um, which is less than ideal for me. It's not a great hand. I honestly might take to lose this hand away. And it kind of depends what this next draw is. Shame they needed that. Definitely needed that. Let's see, what do I get? Ooh. Let's try. If I can get a Slugma, I'll be very, very happy. No Slugma. I got another TV reporter, which is always good. Um, let's go for the eruption and let's just hope for the best. We get lucky. Yes, we get lucky. We get very lucky. All right, goodbye. And just see if Entei can sweep for us. Kind of wishing for the grass energy there now, but hey, it happens. All right. Um, I'm probably gonna go for another TV report in this situation because I really want to increase my chances of getting. The slug mount is in the Sudowoodo, which is a bit frustrating. It's not a bit frustrating, it's very frustrating. Because I need eruption to go off positively for me. Ooh, there's Shuckle. Shuckle thins my deck. I like Shuckle. Yes, please. Uh, let's go. One, two. Um, honestly, I might just go three. Uh, let's do that one rather. Fantastic. I, I really like that chuckle. Let's put that down there. Let's go TV reporter. Come on, slugma. That's not a slugma. Um, I no longer need these. That can go away. There is Torchic. I don't know why I played Smeagol. That was actually a dumb play on my side. Really dumb play. Um, hmm. Oh, that's amazing, and that, that hurts. And this flail is gonna hurt. Damn it. It's alright, it's not the end of the world. Um, I'm kind of holding out hope for the Slugma, which is actually kind of costing me at this point. Yeah, flail there, I figured as much. Alright, um... At this point, I think it's time for a new hand. Like this is really the energy situation is really good. I don't have many energies left in my deck. Ah, whatever. Let's just hope for the best. Ugh. This is not going well. I'm gonna get Torchic down because Entei is probably gonna get knocked out next turn anyway, so I can start charging that up. Let's put that there. And let's go for the Fire Fang. I don't wanna unnecessarily mold myself. Let's 
Let's see, Town Ball. Town Ball's really good right now. I can bring out Hound Doom, I can bring out uh, Compaskin. I should have an energy there already, which I don't, which is a bit of an issue. That's unfortunate. But it's okay. Shaco can, can come and say hello. Shaco does get KO'd, but that's okay too. Alright, let's time a ball and see what we get. That's one. Ooh. Hound Doom, I think, is the play. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oof. If I got two, I would have gone with Blaze and Root, but only getting one, I'm a little bit concerned here. I'm very concerned here. See if my opponent does. The thing is, they've got to play cards this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they're gonna go for the dig then. I'm kind of okay with that. Do they get it? They do get it. Okay, that's not the end of the world. There is Slugma, finally. Alright, um... Again, I think I'm just going to charge up my other one. Because I kind of want to keep a full hand as much as possible. Yeah, let's just charge this up. Um, yeah, let's go there. I'm more likely to get Hunt Doom online than I am Torchic at this moment. I'm very okay. This is why I love Shackle. Shackle just stabilizes your energy game. Two. I've got six energies down for my opponents. What? Three. Okay. Do they get a heads here? Oh, they do get a heads. That's a problem. Let's go Smeagol. It's taking a bench base for no reason. That's not what I want to see. Okay. Let's get that down there. Um. I don't really have a draw, which is an issue. That there. Let's go Macargo. Let's go smooth over. I want to draw a card for next turn. Mm. Not great, I won't lie to you. Not great. Um, Sightseer, I guess, is kind of it. And then let's go for Stunning Likeness. Ooh, do I want to use a Bede? Do I care about Bede? I don't care about Bede, do I? I don't care about Bede. Because I'm not worried about the energy situation. Blaziken's not coming online for a long time. So that doesn't phase me at all. The issue is I need this dig to fail. Which is the frustrating part, because this is now going to be a big issue. Because getting through the 150 is going to be a problem. This only deals 130. I've used my props already. Okay, Hound Doom comes in here. I get an easy KO. Macargo can smooth over. Bring my second Hound Doom for the next turn. And I can just sweep with Hound Doom, I think. Um, I've got to discard a lot to get Sightseer off this turn, though. But I kind of want to start. Now, I guess, is the time to do it. Um, get that down there. We can go Sightseer. We can go get rid of both Torchix. I'm not going to need. I know one Blaziken's prize card already. One, two. And I guess we can get rid of this Fire Energy. 
No, yeah, I'll get a draw two from this. Okay, Guzma's actually a really good one. I'm happy to see that. I'm very happy to see Guzma. Right, what does my opponent do here? a prize card which is worrying those digs definitely got me those digs hurt me a lot and this blaziken is taking way too long to come online To get Blaziken online. I don't like this play, but I have to get Blaziken online. And just hopefully Hound Doom can carry me for a little bit. But I'm not liking the situation at all. To get another dig off, I'm in a really bad spot. If this dig succeeds, I'm in a really, really bad spot. Because this getting charged up is a problem. Okay, that's good. That's very, very good for me. Because this is coming down this turn. Um, 130. I'll have one, two, three, four cards in hand. Uh, I shouldn't have played that Combaskin. Because I could have Guz Guzma switched. I don't need, wait, I don't need to, I don't need to switch. I can just retreat. Hard retreat. One, two, three, four, five to there, four. So let's do it. Let's go Guzma. Cause just get the knockout, right? This is 130 damage. Yeah. Let's go Guzma there. Into Combuskin. Combuskin. Retreat into Handoom. Five cards to four cards. Attack operation. Okay. Now I'm good. Now I'm good. Because next turn, players can come in. Did I even use my cargo last turn? Smooth over. I don't think I did. I don't think I used my cargo. It's not, the, it's not the end of the world, but it's a bit of a misplay on my side there. Ooh. That's not great. That's not great. Hmm. Oh, that's immune to damage this turn. That's really irritating. I didn't use my cargo. I got so carried away with what I was doing. Um, what do I do here? Houndoom doesn't get knocked out to Mud Bomb. So what I can do is just... Hard retreat hunt into Handoom. So I want to keep the cards in my hand. I need to get an Ente down. I need to start charging up the Ente. Unfortunately, I can't use my cargo and Nasty Plot because I don't have much in terms of a hand here. Honestly, maybe let's just get rid of this hand. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Let's just get rid of this hand and use Copycat and get a fresh hand. Yeah, I actually really like that idea. Let's just get a fresh hand. Um. In terms of basics, I guess Heracross could come in handy. I don't want to draw it either. Let's get Heracross down. Let's go Copycat, because I'm not going to be doing an attack operation this turn. There is this Rescue Stretcher, which is a huge deal. Because I can Rescue Stretcher this turn to bring back a Blaziken. Just got power to a hand. Let's bring a Blaziken back. Blaziken is now online, which means I can start using Firestarter, which charges up Entei. And I can use Nasty Plot to get exactly what I want in my hand right now. Because I can't use Attack Operation. So let's just form a hand up and get an extra draw for free. Um, so let's draw into a switch. 
which I can always use. I love having scriptures in my hand. It just gives me options, which is good. Because this puts my opponent in a really, really awkward spot. Because it's not going to be easy for them to get out of this. Okay, I just need one more prize card right now. If they go for Mud Bomb, it's guaranteed KO next turn. Props research, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Alright, let's see what they do. That Guzma play might have won me the game. <laughs> it was a good play. Although it was a bit daft of me not using Smooth Over. I got carried away with what I was doing. Uh, this is okay. This is why I took out Switch, just in case this happened. Cool. Dig goes through. Another heads. That's really irritating. It's just stalling the game at this point. Um... I can use Big Malasada, I guess. It's much of a muchness at this point. And I can use Blaziken's Firestarter. And I can charge itself up at this point, actually. Mm, let's put that down there. And again, these two you can't stack, unfortunately, because you got to shuffle your deck after doing that. So let's just go... Nasty plot. And let's say I want to get a. I've got two of these left, I can be careful. Let's say a Tate and Lisa in case I need to switch or something. Although I've got to switch my hand already. But honestly, there's not really anything I want. It's kind of just a case of just having options for options' sake. Because I can't do anything. And if let's carry on using Dig and keep getting heads, I can, I can do nothing. So it's just waiting for heads to fail. And then I win the game. Because smooth over with Entei's eruption. Not eruption, sorry. Um, yeah, it is eruption. With Entei's eruption guarantees me a knockout. So it's kind of just waiting for that to happen. Let's dig. There's a Tails. Nice game. Cool. Here we go. Yeah, that's the key. I knew it. As soon as I flipped the Tails, that was game. Cool. Man, I missed this day. It's tons of fun. Alright, if you don't own this deck, I'll definitely recommend it. It's a lot of fun to play. It's a good brain workout. <laughs> it's a very good brain workout, but it's tons of fun. I really, really enjoy playing the deck. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy seeing some decks you don't see very often. Um, well, at least I don't play very often, which is quite nice. Um, it was lots of fun doing this again. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Cheers. Enjoy.